Okay, I'm about to start BVS Ultimate Edition or Snyder Cut. I haven't seen it before, just rented it, and I cannot wait because everybody says it's really good. The original film was kind of yeah, but uh, I got a good three hours of film to watch, so should be good. Batman vs. Superman, Snyder Cut. Uh, definitely a big improvement over the regular film. The regular film had like a slow pace, and it was really sometimes hard to watch, but this movie, even though it was three hours long, it kind of built up on human drama, and it, it gave the movie a lot more meaning and depth which it desperately needed, especially because of the fact that we only really get to see Batman and Superman and all those characters like once or twice in the entire movie. Eh, three times. We only get to see them about three times, and we only, we only see Wonder Woman once. So it really needed a lot more human drama and depth, and... It just felt a lot more like a story and not as much like you're trying to pin Batman against Superman which obviously this movie tried to do but with this version it felt a lot more like a continuous flow not like you cut this here and it's just assumed for what he does, then then you go over to him and, oh, he's, like, dragging a tire across the ground. It just, it meant a lot more with a lot more emotion and a lot more expression through the scenes that were either shortened or cut from the movie. And I will say it, there were scenes where it was like, oh yeah, it's this scene. But the previous scenes that were deleted, like I said, they added more human drama and depth and all that to the movie that it gives you a different feel while you're watching it. And it just, it makes it feel a lot more presentable if that's a term I would use for it it just it makes it a lot more professional and it makes it feel a lot more real which obviously in a superhero movie it's not the easiest thing to accomplish and I felt like it accomplished it really well um, when it comes down to it, this movie really hit it home for me. I would consider watching it again. Just, just because of the fact that it was really good. It wasn't, like, great, like The Dark Knight, or anything like that, but it was really good. It was kind of like, um, Attack of the Clones. It wasn't outstanding or blew your mind as much of, like, it was, oh, it was really good. But it wasn't like, <sighs> it was more like, okay, okay, okay. It just kind of fits into that category of liking this. What? And I can't wait for the Snyder Cut of Justice League. I'm going to be honest. And everybody else is psyching out about it. And I'm pretty excited now, too. 
I wonder if there's a Suicide Squad Snyder Cut. Because that movie, it was good. But I was told that there was a lot of Joker cut out. Which, when everybody was like, oh my gosh, this Joker's terrible. Then he actually came out and was like, well, we filmed a good hour and a half more of Joker, and you really only got to see, like, five minutes tops. So, I feel like maybe seeing more Joker could probably change some perspectives on, his, on Leto's portrayal of the Joker. Um... look into that actually because now I'm actually kind of interested I'm gonna look into that but if you guys did enjoy or you know agree with my perspective then please let me know your let me know in the comments if you haven't seen this movie I'd definitely recommend that you see it just so that you know what I'm talking about at least or just so that you really get it and well see you in the next video bye <laughs>